Hi everyone, been down to Willie's Milk Bar today, early this morning, uh, saw Woody, um, Echo wasn't there, and I think in the last video I was calling him Willie, it's actually Woody, and it's at Willie's Milk Bar, so um, yeah, it gets a bit of a tongue twister sometimes, but uh, yeah, so Woody's doing fine, all good, and out of uh, the money you had down there, a nice little 20 bucks, that's it. $10 of 10s and 10 of 20s. So I'm sure there'll be uh, something in here to find, so we'll look through and see what we've got today. Two coins out of the 20 cents, 1981, three and a half claw Canadian minted, and a 2007 broad date. Broad seven. And the zeros and the two are all different. I'll show them up close. I'll check the 10 cent pieces uh, now. Two coins out of the 20 cent. Okay, so I finished checking that $10 of 10 cent pieces and the $10 of 20 cent pieces. Six, well, I've got actually, yeah, six coins I've got out of here. There's eight there, but two of them are just examples. Uh, first off, 2021, lowest mintage at 1.25, I've got a roll of them, 38, nice, 9, beautiful, 1, gem, out of a roll, that was it. So I've basically got 10 coins. So I'm starting to see a few in the 10 senses, so um, that 1.25, I agree with a few subscribers there that that might be changing, but we'll see. But two nice ones. They'll go back in, I won't keep them. Uh, I've got plenty. I've got all those uncirculated out of the roll, so don't need them. So next we have, well, just varieties. So these two and these two are varieties. These are just examples. First of all, 2001, uh, standard head, all joined IRB. Then the bottom there, the initials, they all touch each other. And the large head. The IRB down there, they have spaces between them. So in between the I and the R, there's a space. And between the R and B, there's a space. So they don't touch. Easy to see on these. So I've got a video with all varieties. In actual fact, they've got three videos. 21 varieties, about 20 minutes, 29 coins to look at. You'll learn heaps straight away. It shows these up close as well as this variety, which is the large head, 1999. You can see the gap between... The legend and the rim, you know, is about 0.1. And on this one, you can see it's about, I don't know, a mil. So a good distance. The 99 uh, $2 coin is hard to see the difference because they're so close together. But it's the actual standard one in the $2 that you want. That's the hardest one to find, not the large head. You can get them dime a dozen. So $2, you want the small one. Standard, that's really hard. But in the 10 cent, you want the large head, that's this one. Very hard to find. One to, oh, could be 20, 30 of the small head. So they're in the video, both of them. So I'll put a link in the description for them. And these, being extremely hard to find, is strange because they made 179 million of those 10 cent pieces. And they're extremely hard to come across these large head. And they made 107 million of the 10 cent in the 2001. Um, but you can find them pretty regular. There's still maybe one, two, five or six, I'd say, of the standing head. But these large head, nah. They range right up to 30 to one. So look out for them. Very good. 10 cent pieces. Better turn over and show the live bird on the back. Next one. Good old faithful, 1981, three and a half claw, Canadian minted, 20 cent piece. My thing that I say to everybody is, get $10 worth, guarantee you'll find one, 99.9%. Get $20, even better chance, which is what I'd get, $20 worth of 20s. You'll get one, 99 times over 100, you're gonna find one. It's how good a condition you get it in. So the last two lots of coins I got from Willie's Milk Bar, they had the 20 cents in them. I never noodled any of these 81s. Really strange. That's probably the only two times because 
oh, let's get one from there. And I did this time, $10, and got one. Uh, curve base letters on the bottom of those legend, fishtail, or scholar base, whatever you want to call them, they look like that. They're angled around, and a flat planchet, these queens sit on top of it, less pressure than the Canberra and Welsh minted ones. But fishtailed letters, flat planchet, turn it over, and that very first claw under there will be in half, just like this one. Not too bad a condition. They're in the variety videos as well. I'll put that there, real easy, it shows you up close. And you can work out really quickly how to distinguish the three 1981 20 cent pieces of minted, Canberra, Wales, and Canada. So this is the only one with the preview mark on it. That's what that is, that half claw preview mark. And technically they've got two anyway, because the fishtail or curved base letters, the other two don't have that either. So that's another one. Then we're on to the last one, 2007. And this is the Broad 7 variety. 20 cent piece. So the seven, the leg of it is thicker. The tip of it is different as well. This is sort of pointy and around. The other one, the standard is, I think, just pointy. But that doesn't matter anyway. The leg's wider, thicker. The zero, in this, they look like a, well, a duck egg. So they're more elliptical. And the two, the serif on it, that little tail, on this one, it's short and round. So short and round serif. The standard date, it's tall with a square finish. On the two, this one's short and round like a ducktail. The O's, these are elliptical, egg-shaped in the middle, so duck eggs, duck tail. The standard O's, uh, if you look at them, they actually are round. And the seven, this has got a wider leg. Of course, the other one is the narrow, it's got the thinner leg. That's also in the videos I've got, so have a look at them. You'll see them up close, identify them, I've got them to compare with the other ones. You'll learn really quickly, and you can go back for reference. Yeah, so not a bad day down there for that. Those two are good, if you were looking for them, they're there. They're out there, the 20, 21, 10 cent low mints. They'll be low anyway, I'm sure, but as for the 1.25, I don't know. That one's the hardest one to find, the 99 large head extremely hard to find um, these are pretty common common pretty common pretty common so you know that one's the hardest one out yeah, of that so all up I've kept six coins for 80 cents not including these two well I won't keep them but if you was doing your own noodle in there'd be you might want to keep them definitely be keeping them and this one till you get ones in better condition and same as that. Uh, so six for 80 cents. That's it. Beautiful. All right. Till my next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. And until my next one. Bye bye.